Yep. Those little numbers going. Okay, so here at Jingwu, we're working on a basic entering, blending, uh, neutralizing drill. It, it's everywhere in every bottle of system. The full movement is high flower and leaf, wild goose fleece flock, green dragon stretched claws. Well, now you're doing it in the Chong style, Jang, um, or the Magui style, you're still doing the same mechanics, right? In uh, the first Magui palm, the dragon changes. Um, that's why when we're walking the circle and you do a bracing palm in each direction, that's how you enter. When you're doing the Yang style, right? You're, doing, you're walking the circle, you pull in and you change direction. So what we're working on is we're working on the fluidity of this drill, having the full body mechanics, engaging the hips, learning how to feel the bones in the body through proper sensitivity to the hips, the pelvis, and the expansion through the arms. So uh, Mike's gonna, and again, this is for just demonstration purposes. Getting the fluidity helps you get, you know, the precision and stuff like that. Mike's gonna throw a punch with his right arm, right? Just step all the way through, right? So here, the first pair, the high flower and leaf, of high flower and leaf, top of it, right? So you're here, and you want to step off to the side. So you go back, Mike. So the first movement is basically you're, you're stepping, you're stepping off to the side. And here you can see how easy it is when you're practicing something like this, basically to get behind someone. And that is, as well, that is part of the whole point of this drill. However, the real point that you want to get to eventually is understanding how do you expand your structure straight in front of you. Instead of walking around a person, you want to be able to focus and close that circle and make it invisible so when you step through, you're going to be going right through the person and getting them out of the way, putting them on the ground or whatever, so you don't have to like bounce around and jockey. Throw your punch man, right? So here I'm going through, I've got Mike's leg, right? I'm expanding, I'm not going, see if I actually sat and expanded, you know, I've got his whole spine exposed. Kidneys, you know, I can basically do what I want. And this is the whole idea, developing this type of precision you learn how to control the other person so that you can just push them to the ground and walk away without having to escalate. The ton of control and submission levels in Bagua before you ever have to actually harm the other person. So, punch comes in, you step, right? And this is also setting up the real leg work in Bagua where you're gonna step and you're gonna break that leg, that ankle. And this arm, I'm coming in, right, I'm not closing my structure, right? I've got my back around, I'm pushing out through the elbow in order to keep this spiral, right? So that spiral is there. So when I go up, and even, even not finishing Mike is, Mike is over there, right? So and I'm being, being gentle here because I like Mike and I want Mike to come back, <laughs> right? Again, demonstration purposes on the side, right? Aim for my face, aim for my face. Right here, pressing into his leg, rolling. On the, and it works outside, inside. It does not matter what kind of punch comes at you. But you want to practice, right? You want to practice the circular flow of the arms combined with the wrapping and the coiling of the body so that you can get into your bones, feel the earth, and expand with your entire structure and, and not have to think about it. The whole point is to be able to feel it and to have it as your primary instinct of movement. So the punches again, right? Here, I stop myself from stomping on his foot, but my hand is right on the inside. His momentum, I stopped his momentum and he would have gone there out there, but here just hitting the shoulder, my inside hand, or around my lead hand, my inside hand, in case that second hand comes up, right here, right, and you see how just, just expanding, sitting, turning, expanding, 
And I would step forward, complete another combination, right? So in class, we're working on walking with this, right? So punch again, right? Here, right? Sitting, and here I've got his other arm pin on the inside, right? And this is me just pushing the structure, right? So, in Bagua, you get to the point where you can shake. So I'll do that really, really slow. So my punches here, coming in, the first shake would be right there. Right? So that would push him, open him up, and if you come through and continue. So the whole point of having this, having this drill, and playing with it and exaggerating it is to feel the legs, feel the bones, feel the root into the earth through the legs as you step, anchor, and expand, right? So you parry, lift, root, and expand. Thank you for watching. See you soon.